Hey, it's Josephine from The Point Shop. I'm in the Orange County showroom in Southern California, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Russian Point Brava. So the Russian Point Brava is one of the first collections in the Spotlight collection. So if you take a look at different types of Russian Points, you will notice that the bottom of the point shoe, the shank, will be different colors. That means that the shank is made out of different materials. You can either have one slab material or you can have this material that is all grounded up in a bunch of different materials like a cork. In the Spotlight collection, it is a lighter color and they usually use one material that they cut out instead of grinding up a bunch of materials and making it into a pressed shank material. Russian Point in general, I noticed that it is one of the longest lasting point shoes, which is why I reach for a Russian Point quite a bit when I'm fitting dancers that are in training um, because they last a little bit longer and it helps you a little bit more with, with um, being able to afford ballet. Now, the Brava, I think, is no exception. It does last a pretty long time. It comes in three different shanks, the flexible soft, flexible medium, and flexible hard. And the hard shank, as you would imagine, is like a brick. So unless you have very, very, very flexible feet that needs a lot of support, I would probably stick to the medium because even the flexible medium is a pretty hard shoe. Now, the point shoe itself is beautifully shaped, it's very streamlined, and Brava is uh, slightly rounder in the platform. So if you have a little bit of bunions or if you have wider feet, this is a little bit more comfortable for you than the really tapered or really sharply uh, shaped wing. So this is slightly wider than that in just this area here. Uh, what I like about the Russian point is that it comes in six different widths. So I have a lot to play with when it comes to sizing. So the width one is pretty narrow and the width six is very, very wide. So there's a lot in between that I can work with and it's very versatile because of that reason. Now the Brava has a pretty wide platform so it's easier for you to balance on and I really like that for dancers that have trouble staying on point and that need a little bit more stability. So I really like that part. It's pretty stable to work with and it's a pretty versatile shoe for that reason. Now if you look at the crown of the shoe or the profile of the shoe, it is still considered a pretty flat shoe but because you have a little bit more space on the sides, even if you have a pretty pretty wide and pretty thick foot, you can probably find a shoe for you in the Brava. If you are wearing a different type of Russian point shoe and you are feeling like your bunions are being squeezed on either side, then the Brava might help you with that because it is rounder again um, on the sides right where your knuckles are and it gives you a nice streamlined look on the side because it holds you up pretty nicely. So overall, this is a pretty versatile shoe. It's beautiful. It looks really great on a lot of people. The one thing that I will warn you about is that because the shoe lasts a long time and because it is so hard, it is a little bit louder when you go up on stage. So if you are going on stage with any Russian point, then you should probably make sure that your shoes are soft enough so that they're not making that clunky sound. If you have any questions about any point shoes, if you'd like for me to highlight a particular shoe, leave it on the comments and I will get to that in our next point shoe review. And if you would like a professional point shoe fitting, you can book an appointment for the showroom here in Orange County or you can join me on my tour on my tour dates. And you can check all of those things on our website at thepointshop.com.